Well, from the noise of lawnmowers to outdoor concerts, the summer season can be really tough on your hearing. As medical reporter Liz Bona shows us, there's also another hidden danger for hearing loss, and women are especially at risk for it. When Patty Seedling first came in to get her hearing checked, and now the other side, it didn't take long for Mike Hill, an audiologist, to discover that what should have sounded like this, green, blue, and violet, each by itself in the sunlight, to Patty was sounding like this. Even the flowers seem pale and faded. A tiny high-tech hearing device she can now adjust on her cell phone not only got Patty hearing better, it got her wanting to share the good news with others and prevent further hearing loss. I never used to wear hearing protection, so now if I mow or if I'm outside doing anything like that, I'll, I dug up the hearing protections. Dr. Hill says that protection is your best defense against noise-related hearing loss. If you have to raise your voice for someone else to be able to hear you, then those noise levels are loud enough to warrant the use of hearing protectors. And noise is probably the number one cause of hearing loss. In addition to that information, however, he has some other advice if you're trying to hang on to your hearing. Simple steps that can make a big difference long term for all of us. Believe it or not, over-the-counter pain relievers, according to a study in the Journal of Epidemiology, such as ibuprofen and acetaminophen, can also damage your hearing, especially if you're female and you use them for longer than six years. And the people that took it, you know, once or twice a week, no big deal, but if you took it two to three times, it was like 14% incident of having hearing loss. If you took it like four or five times, it was 21%, and then it was 24% if you took it over six days a week over an extended period of time. If you think you already have hearing loss? The average time from when they identify hearing loss till they act and do something is about seven to ten years. Something Patty Seedling says she is grateful she did not do. I didn't realize it, but then once I did realize, it was like, okay, um, you don't know what you're missing. At Hill Hear Better in Finneytown, Lisbon is local 12 News. A similar study was also conducted in men. Aspirin also posed a danger to men's hearing in that study, but not in women. We have more information on prevention at local12.com for you.